Okay. Unsettled conditions will produce nasty weather in a large part of the east today. You're going to see some heavy rain in the mid-Atlantic and northeast regions, and some areas are going to be receiving snow. Good morning, and welcome to WeatherScope. I'm Kristen Dodd. And I'm Rick Griffin. Thanks for joining us. Meanwhile, in the southeast, you face the threat of more severe weather today. However, it will not be as widespread as it was on Friday. Yesterday, for instance, you saw severe weather in parts of the southeast. Uh, this tornado with winds up to 100 miles per hour touched down in Lafayette, Louisiana. You can see the damage resulting from the twister, which included 25 homes and businesses at least. The twister knocked down trees and power lines as well. Officials estimate its path was three miles long and 200 yards wide. Now, an additional tornado touched down uh, in Covington, Louisiana, 33 miles northeast of New Orleans, just on the other side of Lake Pontchartrain, by the way, and that damaged 80% of downtown Covington, Louisiana. 25 injuries with that particular twister. Covington's right here. And it may have been the same tornadic thunderstorm cell that moved across the Mississippi-Louisiana state line and produced a twister uh, right around Picayune, uh, Mississippi. And uh, there were other tornadoes in Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia yesterday. Uh, however, as you can see this morning, the weather has quieted down considerably. Actually, the front has eased through southern uh, Louisiana and Mississippi, and eventually drier, more stable air will be affecting you folks uh, today. Uh, so the severe weather threat will actually set up quite a bit farther east on this Saturday, and it will include parts of Georgia, Florida, extreme southeastern sections of Alabama, and late today, coastal sections of South Carolina. That's where the recipe gets together, the warm, humid air, a front, and approaching upper-level disturbance and converging air masses along the front, plus changing wind direction with height, which may result in some uh, uh, rotating supercell type uh, thunderstorm activity. Right now, the heaviest storms are down here in Florida, from Naples to just, late, uh, just north of Lake Okeechobee, uh, in this portion of the Sunshine State, moving slowly to the east. Now, the front's about in here, surface front. Uh, by the way, behind it is another pocket of energy in the atmosphere, which will eventually catch up with the surface front, that and in combination, as I mentioned, with the daytime heating and a tropical air mass will contribute to the uh, severe weather threat later. Also, I should mention fog is very thick this morning and relatively widespread in several areas of the south. So if you have travel plans like around Gainesville, maybe Tupelo, Mississippi, Tulsa, Oklahoma, 
be sure to keep your headlights on low beam and leave extra distance between you and the car in front of you because visibility in the fog this morning is highly variable from not too bad to 100 feet or less in a short distance. So remember that. 40 in uh, Oklahoma City this morning, 40s in Little Rock and Nashville, east and south of the front, 60s, Jacksonville, Tampa, and 76 is the nation's warm spot right now in Miami Beach. 46 in D.C., 47 in New York, it's raining in the Big Apple, it's raining in Boston, it's snowing in Albany, Capital District. In fact, our rain snow line right now runs from about the Finger Lakes region to just about Albany the northwest corner of Massachusetts, right around Adams or North Adams, and then most of uh, New Hampshire seeing wet snow north of the Massachusetts and New Hampshire state line. From about Nashua northward, a uh, uh, light snow, light to moderate snow is falling. Let's start with the rain near Williamsport, Pennsylvania and Philadelphia, as well as Atlantic City, New York City getting the rainfall all over Connecticut, uh, Rhode Island and most of Massachusetts. You're in the liquid precipitation. However, right about in here, Portland, Concord, Lebanon, White River Junction, Glens Falls, New York, Albany, Syracuse, a rain snow mix, and Buffalo, light snow. The roads are slippery in the Niagara frontier, so take it easy. Heaviest snows today, probably from the Adirondacks, Green Mountains, White Mountains, interior Maine, away from the coast, a band of six to eight inches, a little more in the mountains, a little less in the deeper valley location. So kind of a wintry start to this new weekend. Kristen. You'll only see light showers and some snow for the most part today in the Pacific Northwest and Northern California. But then tonight, the precipitation will get heavier as a big storm from the Pacific moves closer. And meanwhile, you'll have snow in parts of the Great Lakes today as well, all courtesy of an Alberta clipper. But yesterday, the clipper brought snow to Fargo, North Dakota. Four inches fell. Really didn't cause any problems for the experienced motorists, but uh, definitely no fun for the folks who had to get out and once again shovel the sidewalks. Today you're going to continue to see occasional light snow, but the heavier stuff is now moving off to your east. And you can see that here on our satellite map as the clouds rotate through Minnesota, and that's where we're also finding the snow at this time. Generally, it's pretty light in Minneapolis if you're going to be out on the roads today driving from Coon Rapids or uh, even if you're at St. Cloud State, uh, it looks like you're going to see pretty good conditions today. Your snow over, but the snow heading up I-35 toward Duluth and over toward Hudson. We're seeing it continuing to come down. Also, a little bit of light snow reported in various locations in North and South Dakota. Here's a look at our system that's pushing off to the east. As it does so, it will really put a halt to temperatures. In Minneapolis, you're just about at your high now, and you will see falling temperatures throughout the day.